I'm Jared Petty, and this is IGN News from space. Saturn's sixth largest moon, Enceladus, has a warm global ocean beneath an icy crust, according to new research based on data from NASA's Cassini mission. Previous research based on Cassini's data showed that the moon may have a body of water at its south polar region. Analyzing gravity data collected during several close passes and seven years worth of images, scientists have concluded that the moon in fact has a global ocean. The moon's wobble as it orbits Saturn matches a model that has an outer ice shell that is not frozen solid at its interior. The global ocean is thought to be feeding Enceladus's plumes of water vapor, icy particles, and simple organic molecules from fractures near the moon's south pole. Matthew Tiscarino, a Cassini scientist at the SETI Institute and co-author of the paper, said, quote, If the surface and core were rigidly connected, the core would provide so much dead weight the wobble would be far smaller than we observe it to be. This proves that there must be a global layer of liquid separating the surface from the core. One possible reason for why the moon isn't completely frozen is that tidal forces from Saturn's gravity are generating more heat than previous research indicated. Enceladus and its warm oceans could contain environments suitable for living organisms, according to a paper published earlier this year. Research showed its heated oceans exhibit ongoing hydrothermal activity, similar to the deep oceans on Earth. As Enceladus is too far from the sun for the star to provide energy-giving heat, hydrothermal activity within the ice moon's oceans provides the heat which could support life. Cassini will dive through Enceladus's active plume of icy material at a height of just 30 miles off the moon's surface on October 28th. For more on the Cassini mission and the imminent birth of the star child, stay tuned to IGN.